using the shipping method to use is one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen many importers make. And one thing you need to know is that the shipping method you choose for your items from China to Nigeria will greatly affect your items, especially if you're buying for selling, you're not buying from China for your personal use. Okay, tell me one good reason why you will use 10,000 naira to buy an item from China and you will use like 50,000 naira to ship it from China to Nigeria. Is that not ridiculous? So if you want to resell this item, how are you going to make your profit? So choosing the best shipping method is one of the things you must learn to consider as a mini importer from China. For example, you bought a television from China or a refrigerator or even a washing machine and you're shipping it through air. That's so, the, the price for the shipping will be so, so ridiculous. What am I trying to explain here? Choosing the best shipping method to use for your items from China to Nigeria or your country will be determined by the weight of the items you are buying. Do you understand? And the quantity you are buying. For example, if you're buying shoes and bags in large quantities, you don't have any business shipping those items from through air. If you're buying heavy items like refrigerators, televisions, washing machines, some of all these blenders in, in larger quantity, you don't have any business trying to ship these items through air. If you're buying clothes in larger quantities, you don't have any business shipping these items through air. If actually you want to make your money back, okay? So items that you can consider shipping through air are very light weighted items like packaging materials nylons jewelries jewelries is a very good item you can ship through air okay because it doesn't have much weight and it all depends on you know it all depends on how urgent you need that item okay because air shipping is very very expensive right now like shipping costs are very very expensive right now so it is very very important before you consider shipping your items consider the type of items you bought know the quality the quantity you bought their weight you know how big is it a heavy item if it is a heavy item tables chairs you know lots of things you don't have any business shipping these items through air if actually you want to resell and make your profit these are mistakes i see many importers make they ship items that are supposed to be shipped through sea, they ship it through air, and at the end of the day, they will end up not making profit for their business. And this can be ridiculous, right? Because as a mini importer, especially if you are importing for your businesses, the aim, the goal is to make profit at the end of everything. Then, when you're done shipping your items, you calculate your shipping costs, calculate your landing costs, and how will you even fix the price for your items when someone is somewhere is selling lesser than you? That means you need to be selling out right so the best shipping method to use is sea shipping because sea shipping is lesser less sea shipping is less expensive although it takes time it takes time but it will be cheaper for you especially if you want to buy things that you're selling okay so so this is when so this is when planning comes in Okay, because if you run out of stock and you need to restock, at least some some of your customers might not wait for two to three months before they get that item, right? So most times, because of how urgency you need your item, you can decide to ship through air, but you might, you know, you might not make that profit. So if you want to ship your items through C, you have to plan ahead. Do you understand? Let's say, like right now, the items as a business person. The product that you want to be sell, you want to sell within November, December, ending of the year, January. This is the best time for you to start planning the items and planning to ship it. This is the best time for you to buy those items so that you'll be able to, you know, get those items before those seasonal time. So when it comes to sea shipping, timing is very, very important. Timing is what you need to greatly consider. Okay. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say, right? And another thing you need to consider is this. Let's say you're buying jewelry, not even up to 1 kg or not even up to 2 kg, like very small amount. And you decide to ship it through C because you want to make profit. 
the shipping company will end up charging you. Maybe your item might not even be up to one CBM, right? They might end up charging you for what they charge for items that are up to one CBM. So also consider, you know, selecting so many items that you want to buy so that you'll be able to ship them together. You can, you know, ship together heavy items and lightweighted items together as your item. You can decide to ship them together through C and they'll be able to package it together for you. But when you're buying small items and you decide to ship it through C, they might charge you the same amount. They will charge someone that has a goods of up to one CBM. Do you understand? So let's say, now this is where I always advise and recommend merging for many importance, especially for beginners. You know, if you have, if you want to start small and you have your money, then you can merge. You can merge with someone probably in a group of many importers that you're in you can look for people that want to import within that period that you're looking forward to importing your own buying your own shipping your own item then you people can you know buy together like it will not be possible you guys sending because people will have this different shipping then the same but you people can decide to put the money together source give one person the person will source it and ship it as as one then when the items arrive then you you just split the items accordingly the other person will get their own goods the other person will get their own goods to save you money because shipping costs now is so high so so high every many importers are complaining all importers are complaining right now shipping costs is so so expensive right now and you need to apply wisdom for you to be successful this time around as a many importer in China and in your business do you understand so that is basically it when it comes to shipping your items right so at this point if you gain value please like this video for me okay if you have any questions kindly leave your questions in the comment section okay and please before you go if you've not subscribed before kindly subscribe thank you all so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye come and say bye bye